Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Digi Files. Today, we've got with us CSO of Sandstorm Digital, Omar Qattan, discussing the importance of EAT for YMYL pages. Yeah, I know we're diving into technical SEO today. This topic is extremely important for your ranking. So um, these acronyms stand for EAT, which is Expertise, Authority, and Trustworthiness, and YMYL, which is Your Money, Your Life, which is basically any page um, that includes content that can affect your health, happiness, safety, and financial stability. So Omar is the perfect person to discuss and simplify these concepts for us. It's a trending topic after John Mueller stressed the importance of separating content for Google alg algorithms just recently. Hi, Omar. Hi, Tala. How are you? Thanks for having me again. Yeah, thank you for joining us. So, Omar, tell us more. So, exciting topic and something that uh, I've been uh, talking about for a while now. Well, actually, the first time I mentioned it publicly was uh, last year at DigiMarcon uh, in Dubai. Uh, it was actually the last uh, public kind of speaking engagement before the pandemic. Uh, but yeah, during that, I discussed why MYL uh, and EAT and, uh, and, and what uh, brands need to think about, uh, brands who are operating in these fields, basically health, financial. And, and it's really very simple. Uh, at, at, in a nutshell, Google, cares about the results they provide their users. Uh, and they wanna ensure that these results are, are the best results and accurate and, and not results that will mislead people. Uh, so in a way, Google is vouching for websites. So generally speaking, Google probably wouldn't care, but when it comes to important uh, topics like financial and health, they definitely care. And they wanna ensure that, uh, that the websites that they are vouching for or providing as results for very important terms that people are searching for are, are accurate, uh, timely, uh, and are not misleading. Yeah, I, I know this is also an important topic in, in regards to health, especially with this pandemic and all the misinformation that's going mm -hmm. around as yes. well. Um, so I just wanted to know, like, so, you know, can you maybe, uh, you know, what is your money, your life, and can you include your money, your life content with none content on the same page? So, good questions. Uh, a couple of answers to that. One is, uh, so uh, I think last it was last Friday where John Mueller uh, put out a video and he actually suggested something that I, I hadn't thought about, but it's actually a good suggestion. I didn't think Google would have major issues with, uh, with that because my understanding is that there are, uh, it's not just an algorithm. Uh, under these two different areas, uh, life and money, uh, health and money, there are actually human raters that go in for, in each country and they, they would go in and actually analyze the content. So, but uh, it seems like it's, it's not as simple as that and Google just wants to make sure that it's perfect. So the whole idea uh, of what Google suggested, John Mueller was, uh, if you have a mixture of this content where you are actually giving advice and actually selling products, as an example, yeah. uh, then it's not a bad idea to separate uh, them into two separate sites. And, and uh, it could be a subdomain. Uh, uh, maybe it's uh, information.myhealthsite.com. Uh, and then myhealthsite.com would have like the comparison of uh, health products, as an example. Yeah. So, uh, so that was the suggestion, and I, I think it's interesting because uh, it's, it appears that they they might that the algorithm might devalue sites, uh, good sites that potentially have uh, outdated or factually incorrect uh, content. Would you would like would you suggest people focus on? eat in this um, scenario? Absolutely. I think regardless of where you put the content, uh, I think anybody, any, any, any uh, brand who's, who's, who's decided to go into content, and it's a good, uh, it's always good to, to, to be in the content game if you're selling products because uh, it, it'll, it'll help you become more authoritative. But if you've decided to go down that route, you cannot just go down that route and without uh, proper 
systems in place, content marketing procedures uh, in terms of understanding what your content is, updating it, uh, making it always making sure it's timely and factual. Uh, and, and it sounds like something that is easy, but it's not. Uh, it, 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 um, it could be potentially, uh, it could potentially backfire on your brand if you're not careful. So uh, yes, my advice is uh, have a proper content calendar, ensure that content that, that potentially might require uh, updating is updated. As an example, there's a lot of examples in, within COVID now. Um, let's, let's take, uh, you know, regulations about before traveling. Um, and if you're a site that, that talks about, uh, uh, about uh, um, I don't know, uh, giving advice to people who are traveling and you, you, you put in the guidelines of a certain airport, uh, let's say in the UAE, and those guidelines changed, um, then you need to understand that that content is there and uh, your editor in chief or whoever is managing that content should go back and make sure that it's updated and it's not outdated. So things like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it, it is important to have the expertise, authority, trustworthiness, but also update your information for what's happening or currently what's happening in uh, today's world as well. well That's absolutely. So all of the EAT all comes from not ensuring that the trustworthiness is ensuring that no user comes to your site and is given wrong information or non-timely information. All of that will chip away at your EAT. So yeah, so it's basic content editing. And again, I, I always, uh, we advise our clients uh, in the content department Ideally, they should have they hire somebody with uh, kind of previous editorial uh, backgrounds, like editor in chief of a magazine or something. And we've we've helped clients, some clients, kind of hire this type of uh, kind of talent uh, within their organization, so that we can work with them uh, as uh, as a as a content marketing agency or SEO agency. So that's great. So bottom line, separate separate both YM, YMYL and non YMYL, and focus on your EAT so that you can make it less challenging um, for the al algorithms to understand how to treat the site and thus rank higher. Yeah, absolutely. Ahmad, yeah. thank you so much uh, for joining us today. We really thoroughly enjoy um, your technical know-hows um, and advice that you give us. Uh, wishing you all a very happy week ahead. Thank you so much, Tala. You, you as well. Thanks.